What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my Pokemon Red walkthrough part 34. In the last episode we um, traded uh, Spearow for Farfetch'd. So Farfetch'd is going to be the last uh, member of our team as you can see down in the little uh, team at the bottom there with my six Pokemon. We've got Blastoise, Nidoking, Electro, Dragonair, Snorlax and Farfetch'd um, as my full team. Okay, so I'm just teaching uh, Farfetch'd or Dark some um, some moves now. So I'm going to teach him Toxic because um, he's got some pretty average kind of moves yet and we want to make him a little bit uh, better than what he is. So Toxic could be handy against something, so I'll teach him that. Uh, you, could, you can use Toxic and Substitute in first gen, but... Oh, it's Payday. <laughs> what if I don't... No, I don't worry about it. <laughs> you can teach him... Um, actually, oh, no, we'll go... We'll go H and um, I'm going to teach him Fly in a second. Yep, um, Fly will be very good against the part I'm actually going to do next. Uh, the Gym Nexus Sabrinas, uh, the Fighting Dojo. Um, I want to train up my Farfetch in that gym, so I reckon that'll be a perfect little gym for him. And I don't think I'll need to level him up before going in there at all. It'll be, it should be a really perfect little um, training for him. Also, he'll be getting the boosted points um, for, for owning, basically. And um, you basically be getting double to triple experience. Okay, so we'll fly to Saffron City now. I've got the ability to fly to all the places I've been to now. Um, obviously, it goes to the Pokemon Center. And uh, okay, so we haven't been in Saffron City. Well, we've only been in there very briefly, um, and then gone out. So before, before um, I go to there, I'll just quickly show you where you get the uh, Psychic uh, TM29, which is Psychic. Um, also, it's a very good TM. Um, um, I don't think I've got anyone in my team to teach it to, but I'm just going to show you where to get it to anyway. Or I might teach it to my Snorlax or something like that. It just, I'm not sure to, I don't know, I could give it to him with Amnesia, like an Amnesia Psychic kind of combo, um, just for the lols. Something different, you know, I don't know. It might be something different I could do. Let's have a look. Let's see what moves it's got. Let's see what we want to make room for. Body Slam, Amnesia, Rest, Double Edge. Well, I, I don't need Body Slam and Double Edge, so... Hmm... I could I could get rid of Double Edge and teach it... I, I could get rid of Double Edge and teach it Psychic. Then I could use Amnesia to power Psychic up and my special. And that would be fairly decent, I reckon. Um, and you wouldn't probably... Ex yeah, it'd just be it's something a little bit different on Snorlax. <laughs> okay, um... Um, he would have something decent against the fighting uh, Pokemon as well. So, not that there's a lot of fighting types um, in this game, but um, he'll be able to um, at least do a little bit to the small amount of fighting in this game. Okay, so anyways, we're going to go into the second gym here. There's a couple of trainers here, and at the end you verse um, uh, the well, the kind of the gym or the dojo master, and you get to receive a Hitmonlee or a Hitmonchan. Obviously, you can't have both. Um, back in the day, you had to trade one of your friends or start have, have a couple of copies of the game so you can get both of them on the uh, the same game. Okay, so anyways, um, I'm going to be using my Farfetch this entire thing, so fully Farfetch, um, <laughs> a full Farfetch run of this uh, Dodo Gym. Okay, so obviously Farfetch has got uh, Fly here, um, so he's going to be pretty decent um, against these guys. We'll pro we'll, I'm just going to switch him out for a little bit. Um, I may just do this first little battle um, just to get him maybe one or two levels then he should be actually uh, he should be fine on his own really okay so I'll go for the Thunderbolt on Machop that's gonna do lots yeah that's a crit awesome okay um, so as you can see Ducks gets um, 436 boosted so he gets a lot more than um, basically so double you could say double um, and okay so I'm just going to do the quick little switching out kind of tactic. We'll give it a go, bugger it, we'll, we'll go for it. Uh, okay, so he uses Fury Swipes, and this is going to do lots to me if he hits me five times. It only hits me two, so I've got a chance now. Okay, so he goes for the Focus Energy there, and Ducks use Fly, so that should do heavy damage to make it nearly one shot, so I'm pretty close there. I can probably finish it off with a Peck. Um, he goes for the Leer, luckily for me, and Peck is going to take Mankey out, so I should get some nice experience. Uh, for taking the Mankey out, so I get a boost of 735, which is really good. Okay, so the last Pokemon is Primate. Let's go. Let's just go for this. Okay, so uh, level 31, they get a level 20. 
Uh, so Primate's gonna go, luckily goes for a Leer, um, he goes for another Leer, I go for Fly, I fucking miss, so that's a real pain, so he goes for the third Leer in a row, if I get hit by anything here, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go down, um, to, even Fury Swipes are gonna go down, so I go for the Fly, that does about half damage, one more Fly should actually uh, finish him off, hope he doesn't go for anything, which he doesn't, he goes for Focus Energy, so I do have a chance to add okay, the Primate here, and uh, he's attack misses because I'm in the air, come on, let's kill this Primate, and oh, he just holds on by a tiny little bit, um, whatever, I'll just go for Fury. His attack misses, so that's awesome. Ducks gets a kill on Primate, that was epic. Again, I get a boosted uh, 1400, so I, go, <laughs> I just go straight to level 22, it's like Tyre. And um, so two levels there, so that's a really good start for Farfetch there. So in between these trainers, I'm just going to. Uh, whatever, I'll just do max. I don't really care. I know I probably shouldn't be using a max potion here, but who cares? It's I don't really need them anyway. Um, cause pro. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, keep moving forward through these trainers and if he does get badly injured after the battle, obviously I'll go back to the Pokemon Center, but I'll, I'll cut that little bit out um, so we can just keep going. Okay, so let's uh, do this again. So we got the Matrop up first, uh, so I do outspeed it now because of those those little couple of little levels did help me. Um, and I'm going to use Fly on Matrop there, that should do heavy damage, doing over half, which is good. So luckily he goes for two Focus Energies in a row. Uh, this is really lucky because I can get easy levels here. Uh, low Kick probably wouldn't have carried me there because it's not very effective. And I do take him out with a second Fly there, which is sweet. Uh, that should be another level after this battle. So Machoke now. Um, okay, so he's level 32. Uh, luckily he goes for Alea because he does um, actually outspeed me. Uh, this should still hit pretty hard, uh, considering. Okay, so he's, can, luckily these, um, <laughs> this train, all these trainers are going for a Leer while I'm going for a Fly, so one more should actually um, KO. Uh, so he does go for Karate Chop here, um, and that's going to hit me quite hard, and so um, one more Fly should do the job, hopefully I don't miss, and it will be uh, Matrok down, so that's awesome. So I, well, I get a crit on that one as well, so that should be level 23 here. So 1500 and level 23, so that's really awesome. Um, Ducks is trying to learn Sword Dance. So Sword Dance is a really awesome move um, for Ducks um, in first gen or any gen. I always use it. It's really a sweet little move. So I'll get rid of... Uh, I don't really need Fury Attack at all. That's a pointless kind of move. So I'll teach it to... Uh, I'll teach it Sword Dance. So Sword Dance, if you do, n do not know, uh, raises its uh, physical attack by two stages. So Fly will be hitting um, a lot harder. Um, but for moves like Slash that already crit, it will not have a, obviously it won't have a effect on those, but it is good for Fly. I'll definitely use a Fly. So, uh, Primate is level 36 here, so I'm going to go for the Sword Dance. I just hope that they go for Lee, which they do. So I go for the Sword Dance, so I should definitely be able to um, KO this in two shots now. Uh, I'll just go for Fly now. So. Uh, Primate's going to go for the Focus Energy, uh, luckily for me there. It goes for the Karate Chop that turn, so I'm in the air, so that's uh, cool. And that hits really, really hard and nearly takes the Primate so Peck should be able to definitely finish the uh, Primate off easily because it is still a flying type move. Not as strong, but it just um, has enough to uh, finish the Primate off and I get a big chunk of experience there, getting me to level 24. So I've already gone uh, four levels just entering this gym, so it's a really, really nice uh, little training area for well, flying types. Okay, so the last training for the um, Dojo Master guy. Um, this should be probably another level for Farfetch'd, and that'll be, yeah, some decent levels. Okay, so um, out comes the Mankey, so I should definitely have enough uh, health to set up a Sword Dance here and go through his whole team. Okay, so he goes for the Focus Energy there, I'm going to go for a Sword Dance here, so that's plus two attack uh, for Farfetch. Um, I'll go for a Fly now, because I won't get greedy, I'll just, uh, I should be able to actually one-shot this thing now. I've got two uh, plus two attack. Goes for the Karate Chop, I'm in the air, that's not going to kill me, and down goes Mankey in one shot. It was a crit though, so we don't really know whether it would have KO'd in one shot, but it's Ducks, so it would have. Uh, there's no questions asked. Okay, so out comes the second Mankey. Uh, karate Chop on the first go, so eh, it does about mm, fucking shit tons, um, three quarters of my health. I was like, oh, that's a bit more than I thought. Uh, and Fly is going to take that Mankey out, come on, yes. Okay, <laughs> down he goes Mankey. Um, to that one, so 735, getting me to level 25, yes, okay, so, uh, Primate is his last Pokemon, hopefully I can kill this guy, then, um, go inverse the trainer, okay, so he goes for the X attack, um, X attack is a, a useful item you can use, raising your attack by plus one, focus energy actually ups the critical hit ratio of your attack, oh, shit, speaking of critical hit, down goes Primate, and, uh, 
I get level 26, so that that was so perfect. So I got six levels just by versing all them trainers, and I'm well equipped for versing the leader here. I probably will, I'm not sure I'll be able to beat both of them, but we'll just see. I might be able to take out one of them uh, with Farfetch, considering he was only level 20, um, yeah, about 10 or, 10 or so minutes ago. Okay, so addressing uh, the black belt uh, guy. So he's got a Hitmon Lee and a Hitmon Chan, and they're level 37, so they're quite high. So um, it's pr a big task. So I've got to go. I've got no choice really here. I've got to go for Sword Dance on the first go. I know their attacks aren't going to be as effective, but they're still going to hit me really damn hard because it's yeah, it's Hitmon Lee, and I'm on nine um, nine health here. I'm using Sword Dance. I could have gone for the Fly, but I know it wouldn't have done a lot of damage. So I'm just going to have to hope he goes for something. And he does. He goes for Meditate. Uh, raising his attack there, and he uses the next attack, so he's got plus two attack at the moment, so I really need to get rid of this thing. I go for the fly there, and I get a massive, um, massive hit on there, and I actually one-shot it without a critical hit, which is awesome. Um, so I'm so happy about that, that I killed that. It's all good that I'm going to go down to the Hitmonchan here. Uh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, Ducks did really well there. He basically beat everyone. Okay, so I can just bring in... I'll just bring in my balls here to finish the Hitmonchan off, because I know Fire Punch... Shouldn't do a lot to Electro. Let me just see right here. I'll go for the Max Revive, and I might bring Ducks back into it just for the lols. Okay, um, I pick one of them up somewhere. So it goes for the Common Punch. That's not really going to do much to me because it's more of a combo attack, um, relying on a maximum of five hits to do like the most damage. Uh, that's about three hits, and it doesn't really do a hell of a lot anyway. So that's fine. Um, I'll just go for the Thunderbolt here, and getting the um, Hitmonchan down a little bit. And I nearly KO one shot. So uh, that's that's quite fine, I'll just go for a Sonic Boom to finish it off. Uh, Fire Punch shouldn't do a lot to me because it's not that high base power. It gets a crit but it doesn't really do much at all. And I do get burns, so that's pretty funny. Um, but Sonic Boom does take the Hitmonchan out and I get uh, level 27 on Farfetch. So he's just burning through the levels here and he's really I'm starting to catch up to the rest of my team. Anyway, so um, that's all I want to about cover for this episode. So you are uh, just upon uh, beating the trainer, um, you can actually take, uh, like, as a, as he said, you can take a trophy, and you can take one of my prized fighting type Pokemon. So you've got um, Hitmon Lee, the kicking Pokemon, uh, the hard kicking. We'll just have a look at the other one, and we've got the hard punching Hitmon Chan. So um, no one's better than the other one. They're both pretty damn good Pokemon. Like. Um, no ducks, you can't fly here. <laughs> Let's have a look at ducks' stats. Uh, look at that massive 50 attack. Okay, um, so he's looking pretty sweet. Um, that's pretty awesome. Anyway, that's all I wanted to cover for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to be tackling probably Sylphco, and that's really, really long. So um, that's all. And um, peace out, guys.